Hello, I'm Louise. And my name's James. And we are dietitians at Western Sussex Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. Welcome to this video on improving your nutrition by using the food first approach. Eating well is important to provide your body with the nutrients it needs to work properly. This video is suitable if you have a poor appetite or if you have lost weight unintentionally. The food first approach is a way of adding extra energy and protein to your diet using everyday food items. The basic principles are to include the following in your diet on a daily basis. One pint of fortified milk, two nourishing snacks and three fortified meals using food boosters. To start with, let's take a look at fortified milk. Fortified milk is high in energy and protein and is an easy and cost-effective way of adding extra nutrition into your diet. One pint of fortified milk provides 595 calories and 41 grams of protein. To make one pint of fortified milk, take four tablespoons of dried skim milk powder and mix this with a small amount of milk to make a paste. Then add the remaining milk and whisk this until there are no lumps. Once you have made the fortified milk, it can be used in place of your normal milk. For example, to make tea, coffee or hot milky drinks, in porridge and cereal, in custard and milky puddings, sauces, mashed potato and milkshakes. Now let's have a look at nourishing snacks. Eating snacks is a simple way of increasing the amount of energy you eat during the day. You should aim to include at least two snacks per day in between your meals. Here are some examples that provide at least 100 calories. So one scone with butter and jam, one handful of nuts, cheese and crackers, one pot of full fat yoghurt, two chocolate digestive biscuits. OK, now let's look at using food boosters to fortify your meals. Food boosters are a really useful way of adding extra energy to your meals without increasing the volume. You should aim to include at least one food booster per meal. Here are some examples. You can add two tablespoons of double cream to your mashed potato. Alternatively, you can add this to your soup or pour it onto your fruit. Two tablespoons of double cream provides an extra 150 calories. Another option is to add 30 gram of cheese to your mashed potato or your soup. This provides an extra 120 calories and 7 grams of protein. Some other options are to add 1 tablespoon of jam to your rice pudding or 1 tablespoon of honey to your porridge. This gives you an extra 50 calories. We hope you found this video helpful on improving your nutritional intake. For more detailed information, take a look at our Eat Better, Feel Better leaflet on the Western Sussex Hospital's Food Facts websites. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Goodbye.